Hi guys and welcome to today's video in which I'm going to be dealing with the subtotal feature. So you can see I've got a normal spreadsheet in front of me, but the teacher, grade, class, number in class, workers, performers, and those attending the concert. And they want me to sort this, right? Use a subtotal feature so that I can see how many learners in each grade were actually workers at the spring festival. So for that, I'm going to have to highlight my entire range over here, including the headings. They're going to go over to the data tab. They're going to go to the subtotal feature. And here they ask me, where do I want the subtotal? At each change in, in what? In grade. Remember, I wanted on grade. All right. What am I going to use? I'm going to use the sum function. You can see I can use the count function as well. And I want to add a subtotal to what? To workers. Okay. Um, I can replace current subtotals if there are. I can put a page break in. I can put a summary below the data, whatever I need to do. And I'm going to click OK. And there you can see what happens. Now it's taken the data that I've got there. It's turned it into beautiful information where I can see for grade 8, there's my total. And those were the total number of workers. All right. Let's go and do another one. I'm going to highlight that same range. Data, subtotal. And this time I want to go via the class. Um, and I want to know the number of learners within the class and maybe also the performers within the class. I click OK. And there you can see for 8B, there are 24 in the class and three performers. You see what it's doing over there. Where obviously each one of these is slightly different. So that's how we can use the subtotal feature and this is what it helps us to do.